be the man. You gotta be the man. And I'm saying, woo, right here. Welcome back to the channel where the art is always random and so am I. Today is a bit of a different video. I apologize in case the audio or video quality is different. This is my first time attempting a live quality video and it's, you know, weird for me. So first of all, you're looking at the background is a Nike Air Force One. I made it a few months ago for my one friend and I'm doing a giveaway in the future for custom Air Force One. So if you want to be part of it in the future, like, comment, and subscribe, hit the notification bell to be alerted when the video comes out eventually in a few weeks. So now why are we here? First of all, I was scrolling through Facebook, procrastinating, trying to figure a way out of, you know, actually working and coming up with YouTube videos. So I was like, you know what? I need a refresher. Let me go scroll through Facebook, share some memes and then get back to work. And then I came across a random post that one of my friends posted. I was like, OK, this is kind of cool, I guess. There's a guy with like hundreds and hundreds of boxes of shoes. Okay, and then I came across this one. I was like, okay, okay, this is where it got a little bit weird. I, was, I didn't read any captions or any anything. I just kept scrolling, looking at the photos. I saw this one. There's hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of shoes, thousands even. And I'm like, there's no way a regular reseller could get a hold of all of these boxes unless he spends like a few hundred grand on them. And that's not really normal. Then I thought, okay, maybe it's some kid who has rich parents. And that's how he got a hold of it because no normal teenager is going to get the finances to do this unless he already had rich parents to begin with. Well, very, very, very few exceptions. And as you can tell right here, once again, thousands of pairs of shoes. These are all very hard to get by to begin with. If you go on the sneakers app, in case you don't know what the sneakers app is, uh, basically it's an app where you go in and then you hopefully lottery ticket win the pair of shoes, which nobody ever actually does for the rare ones. And there you go, you have this kid with hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of rare pairs. So once again, I'm just going to keep scrolling before the actual commentary starts without the, you know, scrolling through. I just wanted to get you guys in on it, like how every crazy all these shoes are. For example, these are what off-white Jordan 5s. I'm pretty sure these all go for five to seven hundred dollars on the resale market. I'm not really sure. I'm out the sneaker game for years because of that same reason. How is it? It's so hard to get a pair, but then people like him have thousands. So, and then this is the one that was like, okay, four pairs of Air Max, sir. I don't, I don't know whose connections you have or who the higher ups that's giving all of this stuff, but apparently you must be really, really close to them in the higher up market. Okay, so we're back onto it. Let's talk about details specifically involving what happened instead of just like me ranting about the guy's page. So, and he, by the way, this is all in a market watch. It's about stocks and you can learn a bunch of random stuff and whatnot. So yeah, market watch article. So let me see. Let me look at it. The article is named Nike executive resigns after her son used a corporate car to buy $200,000 worth of sneakers for his business. Anne Hubert. Nike's vice president and general manager of North America left the sportswear giant after 25 years. And I don't really want to bore you and just talk into details and specifics like that. But basically a Nike, Nike, uh, NKE stock, whatever you want to call her, vice president and general manager of North America left the giant company after 25 years because, well, an article came out apparently that her son was using her car to buy over $200,000 worth of sneakers to resell for profit. Her son's 19 year old named Joe Hubert. And yeah, it's pretty, pretty crazy stuff like this where it's like, okay, it's kind of like, you know, the meme was going around on uh, Twitter. Hopefully I could find some to post it around here where they were like, oh, no wonder I couldn't get a pair because this kid stole all of them. And that's basically the way it is. It's like insider trading in a way without the actually trading part. Just her mom came up with the hookup and then somehow, some way, this all crazy stuff happened because the way that I, like I said earlier, the reason I stopped buying sneakers was because I didn't want to pay resale price. Like, what's the point of me paying another $150 for like a $200 pair? I, I understand supply and demand. But at the same time, when people are doing stuff like this, it's like less pairs for everybody else to have. I don't want them to resell them. I want them just because I like them. And it's kind of messed up that people like this just completely mess up the sneaker market and make the prices go up completely high. Because... Also, apparently, I think he was making like $200,000 a month. And I don't even know how all of this came about, but apparently someone called 
he called someone and then the name of the phone registered was Ann Hube, Herbert or Hubert, whatever it was. And then somebody looked it up. They saw that it was a Nike executive and they're like, wait a minute. They, Cause I'm pretty sure like, you know, normal people just, like, oh, it's a name on the phone. Let me Google it. And then they figured it all out. And it's crazy that like stuff like this happens every day. We don't even know about it. It's sort of like the stock market, for example, once again, being brought up. Oh, by the way, I kind of started losing track on my rant about like, you know, stocks and how insider trading affects everything. You buy, they, a bunch of people get insider information, they buy low, then they sell high, everything crashes, then they're good. They made a few million, a few hundred grand, whatever it was. But yeah, anyways, to wrap things up, it's kind of messed up that whatever thing happened, it became a big deal. If you want to learn more, go on uh, Twitter, Facebook, MySpace, Twitter, whatever, whatever, just Google it. Look up Nike executive resigns and then everything pops up. That's how I found it. But uh yeah, hopefully you found this story interesting. Uh, a boy was finessing his mom or they were finessing together, whatever it was. But yeah, uh, once again, like, comment, and subscribe to help me out. And I'm doing a sneaker giveaway in a few weeks, few months. I don't know. But thanks for watching. I'm...